what are ketones? Let's define it for the people and how it really acts in many ways as not just an epigenetic modulator, which we can talk about, but it is a macronutrient. It's known as a fourth macronutrient. So what are we talking about here? Yeah. Ketones are a source of energy that your body makes and ancient humans made more of it because you make ketones when you don't have high levels of blood sugar. So if you're doing a low carb diet, or if you're active moving around exercising, or if you're fasting, your body is going to run low on glucose carbohydrates, and it's going to start making ketones. So ancient human 200, 300,000 years ago, didn't have Slurpees and Kit Kats on the Savanna <laughs> and was therefore making more ketones, had a higher ketone levels. It's interesting in the modern world because we kind of think, I've heard it said, I've probably said it myself, that ketones are your backup energy source when you don't have glucose around. And I've actually started thinking about it a little bit differently where it's not, it's not even like backup because humans, ancient humans arguably had that as the dominant energy source. Cause if you aren't eating carbs all the time, you you're generally having some ketones to fuel your brain and other organs. It's like carbohydrates are the special, the special fuel that you have. Sometimes you find some berries or there's some, some wheat, like, like that, that's like the special boost fuel that you have on occasion, but that like ketones is instead of like the backup fuel, like ketones should be the, the main, the main fuel. And maybe that's a way to update our are framing around it.